back with another video. Um, gonna cover two aspects in today's video. <clears throat> I'm gonna do needle sweep on a Volkswagen Golf Mark VI, and I'm gonna go through some settings with the Eon head unit that if you haven't got a reverse camera but you've got parking sensors, it will display the um, icon on the screen, and I'll show you how to set that up. Um, so first of all, um, let's talk about needle sweep. So I'll finish my car's seat. Nearly out of my warranty now, 37,035 miles. Right, so needle sweep, what happens is you turn your ignition on and the needle here, switch round and back down when you start the ignition. At the moment, for display purposes, I've turned mine off. So I turn my ignition on, nothing happens. So, we are going to go across to the head unit, or your phone, or your tablet, and we are going to open up the Carista app. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, Carista is a diagnostic and um, customization tool that is available from the Play Store, and you need a Carista dongle, and you have to pay a subscription for it. I use a subscription-free version of Carista, there's a video in my back catalog of how to download this and you just need a Carista compatible OBD reader. You don't need the Carista. You can use Carista OBD reader if you've got one, but you don't have to buy the Carista OBD reader, just an OBD, just a Carista compatible OBD reader. They're not all compatible. So we'll open this up, connect, Allow Bluetooth. Let's wait for that to open up. So obviously with this, you can do lots of customization um, within your car to do with your locks, seat belt chime, various other things. So I'm gonna go to customization. Now this is gonna take a moment to load up because it's gotta go through all the modules in the car that it can do customizations to. You will get lights flashing on the dash. That one, I'll have this one. This will be uh, flashing in a moment. But it does take a minute or two to go through. So I'm just gonna pause that while it's, uh, while it's doing its thing. Right, that's loaded up on the customization screen so you can go through all of these doing different bits for customization lights obviously you've seen if you've seen some of my other videos with uh, setting the light output for DRLs and things um, now obviously I've got a diesel it's a GT TDI when I first picked the car up it didn't have the needle sweep activated and I didn't know whether it would have needle sweep so when I went on to Carista and went to instruments and display I was quite surprised to see this at the top now if you don't have this at the top get it in focus gauge needle sweep at the startup if it's not there then you you haven't got needle sweep on your car so all i need to do is tap on that change that to yes press save i'll just save that through doesn't take too long Right, so now, when I come to my ignition, turn it off. When I turn my key, needle sweep is activated. So that's how you activate needle sweep. If you want me to go through a video of all the other things that you can customize on here, I have done a few in the past, but I'll, I can go through and do them. Um, let's just turn the ignition off. Yeah. So that's how you activate needle sweep and how you turn it off via Carista. Um, the next part of this video is to do with the reversing cameras on this Eon head unit. Um, obviously, I've got an, I installed a reverse camera myself. It's again it's in other videos, or you get um, cars that have got the factory fitted reverse camera. It's a different connection you need to plug into the back. Um, but it works but some people don't have or don't want reverse cameras so um and some cars come with parking sensors and no reverse camera some cars only come with park sensors on the back and some come with back and front 
I've got back and front on mine and I've done the reverse camera myself. But anyway, I'm just gonna turn the ignition on because it's cold in here. <clears throat> Let me just turn off my Bluetooth because it will cut out. Right, so at the moment, if I go into reverse, I've got reverse camera, parking sensor showing on this side. Now, if I come out of this, and I've got my front camera as well. So, if I go into my settings and go to reverse, um, down here, reverse mode, system reversing, if I turn that to prohibit, and back to the home screen and go into reverse now, I've got nothing. Oh, parking sensors are off. So I've got nothing displaying on the screen, but my parking sensors are on. Nothing there. So if I come out of reverse, go back into settings and go to original, this one here, front radar display. If I turn that on, there you go, you can see already that that's flashed up. If I turn off my parking sensors, it disappears. There it is, back on. If I walk around the front of the car now, it'll activate the front sensors. Now with this, when you put the car into reverse, if I, no, don't try it. You put the car into reverse, nothing shows up on the screen. But it's not until it detects that there's something behind you that it will flash up. So if I turn my parking sensors on now, it will then flash up on the screen. Oh, I need to come out of reverse and back in again. No, don't you're gonna be silly with me. Out of reverse, there. It shows on the screen because my parking sensors are on. So there it is. So, um, so it's this one here to turn on front display radar. If you've only got parking sensors, and no camera, but I'm gonna turn that back off and I'm gonna go back to reverse and I'm gonna reactivate my reversing camera. So that now should all be back to normal. Yeah, that's my reverse camera and obviously I've got the parking sensors on the side. So I hope that makes sense for you all. So if you've got parking sensors, you can have the display on the screen without having the reverse camera screen pop up when you go into reverse um so it's just two settings that need changing you turn off the reverse camera under reverse and system reversing and then you go to original and you activate the uh so it's reverse this one here reverse mode turn that to off prohibit and then you go to original and go to front radar display. It's a strange description, I know, and you just activate that and it will turn it on. So you can have your reverse and reverse camera on and the display over the top, which is bloody annoying. And if that is happening on yours, just tap that off and it will turn it off. So yeah, that's that. Now, I don't know if I'll be doing any more videos this side of Christmas. Um, it's currently the what are we, 12th of December. If I don't do any more videos, happy Christmas to you all. Um, I'll continue to try and answer your questions that I get asked. Um, I'm still waiting on the new fascia. Still waiting on the new fascia. It's been months now. Might drop them an email, find out what's going on with that. But no, if I don't see you all this side of Christmas, have a good Christmas. And um, I will see you all in the new year. Happy Christmas to you all. Don't forget, like, subscribe and share. And we'll see you later.